Sport TV. It's finals football today. And once again, the weather has turned it on. My name is Jordan Hughes. Alongside me, Bob Harrison. Bob, Newcastle turning it on once again. Yeah, two beautiful days in Newcastle. Really looking forward to this. The uh, replay of last week's final. Um, Bond continuing their great form over yesterday. Western Australia struggled a little bit yesterday. But we'll see if they can uh, rise the occasion today. And it'll be WA with first possession. And this woman was one of their best yesterday, Tamika Jones, with her first carry of the morning. Nice dewy ground here. 8 a.m. kickoff. So Western Australia trying to chance their arm, playing a bit of width, but Bond up in their face straight away. A very enthusiastic defensive line early on, but Western Australia have controlled the ball well. Sound for Wiggly there with a the carry, and they recycle, trying to go wide. Numbers out wide, they can use it. And absolutely big shot to Lay Siala, laying out Taj here, which is no mean feat. And Rosie McGann recycles for Western Australia. Quigley out to Madeline, puts down a bit of open space in that left hand touch line. And she just shepherded towards the sideline. Great clean out by the Western Australian support runner there. I was going to say just before that penalty, but WA were building the phases there. They're, they're playing pretty well. Yeah, and you, you've got to de deny Bond the ball. Um, and they did that fairly effectively. But at the same time, you, you've got to ask some defensive questions. You've got to take the ball forward. And, and they did that. And they started off well, but they've turned over now. And they have to get their defence on track. And Bond on the attack. And they find the speedster straight away down that right edge. And it's Diane Waite to open the account for Bond University. A clear run to the line, and you won't get near her. Bond take it. Early lead, five points to nil. Yeah, that's what Bond just stick in the game and then when they get that off June, it's just bang, bang, get it out to their speedsters and it's, um, it's, it's almost impossible to defend against. And that's been the theme for Bond throughout this tournament. They have not the biggest side, but have absolutely lightning pace out wide. Great pace, great skill, um, great organisation. It'll be really interesting to see how over the course of this, um, this tournament, if any of the other sides can, can work out a way to challenge Bond. No one has it yet. Of course, if Bond can secure victory today, they will secure the series overall win. They will. But plenty of rugby to come live on Unisport TV. And the conversion was successful. Seven points to nil. Bond to lead. And Manira goes high off the top. Saw taken there by Rosie McGann. Taj Hield has what a clear out that breakdown too. Lettington goes wide now. Jones, Wiggly. Wiggly's got some speed and floats a good pass out to Puts. She tries to bump, bump off a couple of Bond defenders. Lettington going across the face. There's a wall of yellow at this stage and Taj Hield as well. And here's a bit of room on the outside. And Roger McGann gets the fend pumping. And the offload to go with it. Back to Hield. See how Pomeray now. What can she come up with? Back to McGann. This is better from WA, making some inroads up the field, just shy of halfway now. Yeah, I think that inside ball, that ball movement, you've got to try and upset this defensive line somehow and just going to the outside. They've got, got too much pace on the outside bond. They're going to hurt you, if you if, unless you can do something, a change of direction, a change of angle, or something different because their organisation is just too good. And they try that change of angle just then. Back on the inside, but just a little knock on there from Alicia Wigley. So after all that, we'll pack down for a scrum. About 40 metres out from the WA line, Bond to feed. Bond are just so good at applying pressure when they're defending. Now, over the course of this tournament so far, you can count on one hand the number of times Bond have been under pressure defending their line. So they're so good at applying that, pre that pressure and getting those turnovers. Well, you said it, Bond, they haven't conceded a point yet. Kept every team to zero yesterday. And they're on the tack once again. That's an ugly pass, but scooped up there by Wedita on the second attempt out to Harla. And here's the speedster, Diane Waite. Waite gets wrapped up by Pomeran. She might have pinched it off her. Bond secure it now. Back to Manira. Adams. Skylar Adams. Signed for the Sydney Roosters next year, NRLW. Out to Bass, and she had a look at the WA defence, and they forced the error, and 
This is what they need, Bob. This is a key, a key moment in the game right now for WA. Yeah, great little defensive effort there by Western Australia. She had a big look then, which is a very uncharacteristic error. There's, there's not many errors in this Bond team, so here's the opportunity for Western Australia to take advantage of that error and to perhaps get those first points against Bond in this tournament. Attacking opportunity just inside Bond University's half. They're very, very deep, the Western Australian attackers. Trying to unleash some of their speedsters out wide, and Leddington goes across the face. He drops it under nicely, but Manira for Bond is up in the face there of Pehau Pomeray. And they go left side and healed. She was explosive in contact, and again, beating defenders at will. A great carry. WA though, still in the attack. Wiggly into first receiver. Wiggly puts on the hammer. She's chopped down. Good run there for Malicia Wiggly. Trying to spark something for her side. But WA still in possession. Out to Madeline Putz. She's got plenty of experience. and She'll just tuck the head and make some easy metres. Now I think if you're going to test this Bond side, Western Australia in the last minute or so have shown the way to do it. You've got to take them on up front. You've got to take them on through the centre with good carries, good support and wait for that opportunity to come. You're not going to get them out wide. They're keeping patient, uh, WA, trying to maintain possession, which is the key to Rugby 7s. But Taj Heald, she's had enough, and she sees a little space in behind. She chips it over the top, and totally lay Siala. I was back there in tracking, and she scoops it up for Bond University. But WA forced the turnover, now playing advantage. So this is... Big moment right now, and there's numbers out wide for WA. Out to Leddington. Nicole Leddington, she's the curator of general, and she does, goes herself on the outside, pops out to Pomeray. And Western Australia now making good inroads up the field. Leddington goes into scrum half. Jones, Tamika Jones, she tries to create something, and Tamika Jones beats one tackle and a second, and there's the offload. Out to Wiggly, one more to Pomeray. Piha Pomeray for the corner. And there it is. What a passage of play from Western Australia. They kept patient and composed. And there's the points, Bob. Yeah, and I think Western Australia have just shown every other team here how they're going to challenge this bond side. They kept it tight. They took it forward with support, pushed their nose through the line, offloaded, and then when the numbers um, appeared, they were able to take advantage and score a try. The last... Two minutes of this game, I think, will be very heartening for Western Australia because they will take plenty of confidence into the rest of this game because I think they might have worked out a way how to uh, put the pressure on Bond. A perfect result on half-time as Leddington from out wide attempts to level it up. And she won't be able to do that. But it's a two-point ball game here at half-time. You can see already Matt Hodgson. It's great to have your company on Unisport TV once again. The next generation of Rugby Sevens on display. And 7-5 to score, 7 minutes to play. And Leddington goes high off the kickoff and it's pinpoint accuracy over the line. They force the error to double knock on the first one coming from Bond University. So that's a perfect start for WA. Perfect start for WA. That's what they needed. They needed a little bit of momentum that they got at the end of the first half to carry it across into the second. Now, let's see if they've learnt the lessons of how they had success at the end of that first half or whether they'll try and play them again at that wide game. Ruru Hanaki onto the field for Western Australia in the number 10 jersey. Forty metres out. Just a bit of a delay at scrum time. Referee not happy at all with something in that scrum. Ends up happier now. And here's the feed, and it's well secured from Western Australia now. What can they come up with here? And goes centre field for Payhow Pomeray, and she pops it out to Madeline Putz, and she just takes the carry. Recycling now is Western Australia, Ruru Hanaki, and Heald changes of direction. She puts the hammer down. Over halfway to Taj Heald, and she's in some open space. Diane Waite tracks back and makes the tackle. But good carry up the middle there for Western Australia on the attack. And the penalty 
against the attacking team. And Bond, they have a so good at turnover attack. And they look at her go, passes out to Diane Waite. And this is what they can do to you. WA on the attack, get the penalty and shut the gate. It's Waite down the left-hand side for Bond second. And how the game can change. Like, they did the exact right thing then, Western Australia. They kept it tight. The hole opened up. They made a decent break. And then they just didn't switch on to when the penalty went against them. And then it was just bang, bang, and see you later. There's a great steal at the breakdown there on that far edge. And the presence of mind from Jada Feifua. She tapped and go, and then she just shoveled it on to the lightning fast Diane Wait, And she got her second try. As the conversion bounces off the woodwork. Score now 12 points to 5. Bond with first points in this second half. Still in the game, Western Australia. They've just got to stick to that, that way of playing. Opportunities will present itself. They can't be suckered into trying to play in wide and play catch-up footy. They've got to work towards a result here, work towards finishing as high as they can in this round and then uh, go again next in a fortnight in Canberra. Nearer to get things underway. That's a hell of a kick-off right there. And Bond have secured possession off the kickoff, and now Emily Bass will have a run. And Harla takes the carry, and she's met head on there by Kerry Oprah in a good shot. And the penalty to go with it. Not supporting the body weight and turning the tide here for WA. Great tackle. That's a turnover. And let's see what the Western Australians can do with the ball. That sort of individual play in defence can really spark your side. And as can this woman, healed, and now Kerry Oprah. Gets another penalty offside the call. So back-to-back -back penalties now for Western Australia. Keeping it tight. That's what they need to do. They need to attack them and play very direct. Go down the middle. You see what they're trying to do. They're trying to obviously a lot more bigger bodies than Bond. They're using their size to their advantage. And there we go again. There's where the gaps are appeared down the middle. The bigger bodies over the littler bodies. And Karyopa pops it up to Ruru Hanaki. 40 metres away now. Taj Heald goes into scrum up. And she fires it wide and... It's juggled. Eventually, Jones scoops it up, but she met Sophie Holliman in a big shot over the top, forcing UWA backwards. There's another penalty coming for Western Australia. Offside the call, I think, on that one, and healed goes quickly. Might have been a little knock-on on that tap, but the referee's missed it. It's the last pass. Not going to hand, but it's gone backwards, it says the referee, and Madeline puts dives all over, and Scrappy with the skills now for WA. They're losing metres, but Jones now goes up the middle and she crashes over halfway. Good run. And the offload as well. That to Hanaki. Hanaki gets the fend pumping on Rapana Feifua. Lettington now down the left-hand side. One-on-one -on -one against Hala. Hala makes the tackle, but the offloads are plenty for WA and still on the attack. Puts, shapes the pass, but takes the hit and runs into the two Broncos players, Bass and Holyman. The ball well. Out to Kiriopa. She's got some power and good skills, and the pass not going to hand to Payhao Pomeray. And there's three on two out there. They just couldn't get there. Yeah, but they did the right thing. They uh, secured the ball. They played nice and direct. They created the overlap out wide, but they just couldn't execute the skills. But they'll uh, they'll go away from this game very heartened. I think the Western Australians because they're more than matching Bond. And as I said, they're, uh, they're showing some of the other teams, giving them perhaps a few little clues on how to play the, uh, play the champion team. Well, yeah, found a bit of a, a style of seven rugby, almost a 15 style. Back your size up the middle. Absolutely. And there is a bit of size, Western Australia. And Bond, you know, supremely skilled, supremely um, blessed with speed, but not that big physically. So Bond now will have the feed at scrum, and it pops out there for Manira out to Feifua. Now Harla, she's lost the headgear once again. Amali Harla puts on the afterburners, and she accelerates on the outside and leaves Pehau Pomare. And Harla, she will streak away for Bond's third try as we approach the final 45 seconds in this matchup. Yeah, and, the, and that, that's why they're so good and they're so difficult to beat under pressure. Looked like they were struggling a little bit, just went pass, pass, and then a little bit of footwork, a little bit of evasion, got into the clear, and then was all over. And they can hurt you from anywhere on the field. That's what makes them 
such a dangerous and such a successful team. I think about L3WA using that sort of physical style, pick and drive in the middle, it's also a lot more tiring. They exert a lot more energy and they're a bit more gassed than you saw on full display there. And there's the extra two points. 19 points to five as, as we will have time for the kickoff. Western Australia have been good in this game, but uh, unfortunately, as in every game so far in this tournament, Bond have just been that little bit better. So WA looking to finish with a flourish. And with possession now, trying to bridge the gap, and Kerry Opa goes up the middle for a good run. But five away from halfway. And there's a little knock on there. And that'll be full time here in the first match of day two. And WA tested Bond University by the final score. The girls from the Gold Coast getting the result 19 points to five.